Welcome again to another screencast on Maple 15. This screencast is going to focus on another way Maple makes it easy to do things just by pointing and clicking, this time through the use of context menus. Let's have a look at one of these to see what we mean. Whenever you enter in something to Maple, there is some kind of action you can perform on it that depends on the context. For example, let's enter in a large whole number. Now there are a lot of things we can do to a large number like this once it's been entered. We may want to factor it into its prime factors, we may want to test to see if it's a prime number, and so on. These are things that we do to integers, but not to things like, say, trig functions. These actions, in other words, that we can perform depend on the context. Now let's go to the blue output in the middle of the screen and right click on it, or if you're on a Mac, hold down the control key and click you'll get a pop-up menu that contains commands that fit within the context. When you right-clicked or control-clicked, Maple understood that you had entered an integer, and the menu you get contains commands and other things that apply to integers. This is what we call a context menu. To get this number's integer factors, just select that option from the context menu. To do something else, go back and right-click on the original output, and then we can select from a number of options. For example, we can find the number of positive divisors this integer has. Just about anything you can enter into Maple will bring up a unique context menu. Let's try a symbolic expression. Here I'm entering in x plus 1, the quantity to the 10th power. Let's say I wanted to expand that into a polynomial. Right click or control click to get the context menu, and notice that the context is different this time, and so we have a bunch of new options that apply just to our situation. I'd like to expand, so let's select Expand, and there's the result. Here's an example using calculus. Let's take the limit as x approaches 0 of the function sine x divided by x. Enter in sine x divided by x and hit Enter. Right-click to get the context menu, and select Limit. This brings up another pop-up window where you can enter in some details. The variable here is x. The point I'm approaching is 0, and I would like this limit to be from both sides. Select OK, and it gives us our result. So context menus are a powerful and easy way to make Maple do what we want without having to remember the syntax to type in. Thanks for watching.